Good evening, my friends out there on YouTube. Brian with VetSource here uh, on a uh, Monday evening, sitting here in a unfortunately self-imposed lockdown from the mass hysteria event that seems to have gripped our country. Seems to have echoes of uh, our 1939 radio broadcast of War of the Worlds, if you're old enough to remember that one or have read about that. So look it up if you haven't heard of that one. You'll see how this is uh, basically War of the Worlds for 2020. But because I decided that I'm sitting around, I figured, hey, why not be uh, not be bored? And I'll bring you guys a couple more of these episodes of some of our uh, Corvette parts identification uh, videos. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make a video every single day until some sanity returns to our normal daily lives just for fun. So tonight, uh, I will say in the past, uh, I've done three other videos of this, guys. You guys have done a really, really excellent job of identifying these parts really quickly. So what I did wanted to do is in honor of um, seemingly the tech companies being at the forefront of the insanity, uh, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of tech from a Corvette and see if you could identify it. So we're going a little bit forward here. I'm not going to be showing you all sides of this because I don't want you to be uh, giving away what this is. Now obviously this is a computer module. Uh, this is a very particular computer module. Uh, from a Corvette, yes, and it is only installed on a Corvette. It does not apply to any other car line, uh, any other type of GM automobile. Um, it is for a Corvette. And not only that, it's a one-year only Corvette uh, module. So here's the, 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 uh, here's the challenge for you guys tonight that are Corvette junkies or gearheads like myself. Identify this Corvette module, what year it came out of, and if you really want the bonus extra... Um, extra um, points for it. Tell me what the RPO code is that this uh, computer uh, works for. It's kind of a hint right there and I will give you one more hint that it is a one year only part. It only fits on one year Corvette. Um, you can kind of narrow it down yourself if you're thinking but take a guess below just for fun you know just so we can keep things entertaining because like I said I can only stare at the four walls for so long before I go out. Now, of course, I do have things to do in a normal course of my day to day business. Um, and what I'll probably do for you guys is I'll keep detailing some things. Got a few things I need to work on on this particular car right here uh, that I'll probably get to this week. I'm going to go ahead and turn it into that tune port injection teardown that I've been talking and promising about. Uh, I got a few more things to do on the Formula 350s. Um, got something else to do on one of the other cars laying around. So, We'll get into that. Oh yeah, I'm actually going to do a little bit of uh, work on one of the earlier C3s I have sitting here. So uh, stick with me. Uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed and you want to see some of the stuff I'm working on, um, hit that subscribe button and uh, the notifications. That way you can see when I upload and post stuff every day. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, Brian with that source, I'm going to check out for tonight. Just let you know I'm still pumping, still uh, doing everything related to Corvettes. Hopefully everybody's staying safe and staying healthy. So. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for checking in, guys. And like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think this is. And uh, I'm at the point now I'm probably going to have to get some uh, cool stickers or something for VetSource for my logo that you see in the bottom right corner there. Uh, give those out to the first person um, that gets this right. I just got to go get them printed up. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.